Good evening, everyone. Another full case break of select basketball knocked out. Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks for selling this one out. 2018-19 Panini Select Basketball 12 box. Pick a team number four. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. And if you see a rooftop next to your name, that means you got that in a spot random. So in some cases, you might have gotten a, a pricier team for a lower price. Melanie with that last spot mojo, Miami Heat. Thanks, Melanie. Oh, and the Spurs, double last spot mojo. Thanks for that. And thanks to everybody, and good luck to everybody. We were talking a little bit off camera about where Antonio Brown is going to go. There was news from Ian Rappaport that he might go to the Bills. Then Antonio Brown himself said that maybe, maybe that was fake news. Who knows what's happening? Where's Le'Veon Bell going to go? We are talking about Le'Veon Bell left a bunch of money on the table and blah, blah, blah. And the Vanilla Gorilla brought up a point, brought up the question of, hey, do you think all these athletes are going to screw themselves? Don't you think? Well, it, I mean, yes and no. I think the, the dirty secret is that, is that the owners make a lot more money, you know, and they could probably pay p players a lot more than they already are relative to what owners are making. You don't, you don't see owners selling teams, right? It's not like business is bad. They're not selling teams. They're making a ton of money. And they come from money to even own teams. So owners aren't hurting, no matter what they try to tell people. It's, uh, it's just like the hobby. What, what, what are you willing to pay for a box of select? This is up to 180 now, 200 bucks in some local card shops. What, whatever someone willing to pay. Dodgers, not willing to pay Bryce Harper for 13 years, $330 million, right? They're willing to pay four years, $160 million, but not 13 at 330, right? They're willing to pay a higher average annual value. But Phillies were, were willing to pay that. I've always been on the player side. You know, I, I think that the, the, these owners are billionaires. You know what I mean? And with the, with the way the internet is and economy and the way we consume content, the way we're consuming content right now, video content on live streams and all that, they're making tons of money on the internet. They're making tons of money off of TV, like how much advertising is on television. These, these clubs and the league themselves are making tons of money and relative to what the league and the owners are making, it's only a small fraction that, that actually trickles down to the players. It's all relative, you know? I mean, to us, to you and me, yeah. You're like, why is Bryce Harper quibbling between $25 million a year and $30 million a year? Like, you know, you want to you wanna smack him in the head and say, just take the money. But what's happening is that it's the, uh, it's the billionaire owners there's J.J. Reddick, jersey and autograph. It's, a, it's the, yeah, it's, owners are greedy. They've always been greedy since, that's how, that's why the Black Sox scandal happened because of greedy owners, you know? So I know it's hard for, it's even hard for me to wrap my head around it. There's Michael Porter Jr. But listen, relative to what owners are making, what the value of these franchises are, these players are not making, not making a lot. But I agree, you know, I mean, you know, sometimes I'm not, I'm like, well, what the f? Why why are you why are you quibbling between twenty five million thirty million dollars a year? I would I would take fifteen to play ball in a heartbeat. I pay take take a million dollars to play ball in a heartbeat. But but hey, like if you're the best brain surgeon on the planet, there's Nikola Vucevic, eight out of ten. You want to be paid like the best brain surgeon on the planet. You know, if you're the best case breaker on the planet. You know, you want to be paid accordingly, you know? Like, if you're the best pizza maker on the planet, you know? Like, it's all relative. But I understand, I think, you know, back in the day, you know, 50s and 60s, 40s maybe, when, when the Brooklyn Dodgers... You know, when you have like Phil Rizzuto living in a in a Brooklyn walk up, and then packing meat in the winter and then playing ball in the summer, you know that 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 romanticism it's gone now. It's a business now, folks. So if that's the case, 
I don't know. It's like, it's like if I work for like, if I work for like a, think about like a corporate job. Make, imagine if you're, if you're in a corporate job and you see what, you see what the CEO's making and you see what your salary is. I think that'd make you think too. Um, we, we haven't done the breaker combine yet, Vanilla Gorilla. I'm not, I don't even know if I'm the best breaker. I might not be. There's throwback memorabilia, Pistons Relic for Josh Proust who got randomized the Pistons in this one. These Global Icons cards are really cool too. Yeah, someone mentioned that earlier today too, Rory. That the Is that official now? Broncos are trading uh, Keenum to the Redskins. There's Tyreek Evans die cut. Are the, are, are the Redskins really going to be happy with Case Keenum? Seems like a downgrade from Kirk Cousins, right? Kirk Cousins goes to Minnesota. Case Keenum leaves Minnesota to go to Denver, ends up with the Redskins. That's, some, that's kind of funny, right? 006 out of 249. So basically there was a Case Keenum for Kirk Cousins trade in a way. There's Tyreek die cut for the Pacers. That goes to Josh Pruce. I thought they were going to draft a QB for sure. I mean, they still might. All right, next box. I think relative to the to the uh, relative to the economy of sports, um, I believe that there really isn't there really isn't such a thing as a I mean there is as as a small market team. I think all the owners have enough money to pay for any number of free agents, right? But the smaller market teams they have a smaller margin for error. I think that's what it comes down to. I think anyone can pay anybody, but all owners from, from top of the league to the bottom in any sport are, are able to pay. But the margin of error, I think, is, is much smaller, though. I, I can see that. But, I don't, I, but in general, I don't, I don't necessarily see, you know, I, I don't have too much sympathy when owners are crying poor and saying, we're just a small market team. We can't. Um, Vanilla Grill says, I don't follow basketball, Joe. Is this Doncic that good? Or in a year or two, will he be a memory? Well, I feel like he's that good. It's Kevin Love, select swatches. I feel like he is that good. Just, if you just watch, like watch a game, you know, watch a, watch a Mavs game and just see that he seems to just have this extra court vision. I think I think what'll make him what'll make him last. There's Michael Porter Jr. die cut to two forty nine. I think what'll make him last is the fact that he it feels like he has a high basketball IQ. There's D Brown autograph in flight signatures for the C's. Oppo Joe Mojo for Derwin. And I think that's what will extend. Whether is he going to be a Hall of Famer? Is he going to be? I don't know. That I don't know. But. I think he's not. This is not like Jeremy Lin with the Knicks, who just kind of, who just kind of exploded and had like a couple of weeks of just Lin sanity, right? It seems like what Doncic is doing is for real. He did it from the beginning of the season. He's still doing it now. And it seems like it's not just like playing one on one and lights out shooting. Like he's getting triple doubles. He's passing the ball. He's he's finding players. He's doing all that. There's Zach Collins. Gold. That card is gold. Two out of ten. What's up, Johnny? What's going on? How's that? What's Zach Collins doing tonight? Zach Collins has not entered the game. Come on. Let's get Zach Collins into the game. That'll be hashtag good for the hobby. Harrison Bader to 99, still Mavs edition. Yeah, that's what people have been saying, Johnny. 
But someone ha- someone said that Antonio Brown had refuted that move. Does anyone have any confirmation on that? Was it on his social media or something? Seventy out of ninety nine on that Harrison Barnes die cut. I, I'd like Vanilla Grill. I'd like to see Mo Wagner do do well as well. And you know what? Since the Lakers are pretty much dunzos, they they even said that they're going to start limiting LeBron's minutes. So if they're going to do that, hey, let's get Mo Wagner out there. Throw let's throw him out there. Get him some minutes. And let's see what he can do. Well, they're not saying a deal is done, Johnny, right, on NFL.com. I think I think Ian Rappaport's just reporting that sources have said blah, 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 no? Unless, that, unless that's been updated. Rory guessing Landry Shamit. It's Kevin Huter. Rookie signature is Kevin Huter, who's been playing pretty well. Uh, for the Dirty Birds. Oh, different dirty bird, I guess. They're not technically the dirty birds, but they're in the they're in the ATL. That's uh John Ross with the Hawks. Next box. Vanilla Grill is saying that uh, Antonio Brown will be a lion. You heard it here first. Could be interesting. We got OKC up 77, 75. Nice shot. 77-77 with Damian Lillard's pull-up mid-range jumper. I've got a little financial interest in the Trailblazers tonight, folks. Three minutes left in the third quarter. Still plenty of time left in this game. So far, Damian Lillard leading the way with 28 points. CJ McCollum is 21, too. Yusef Nurkic, 13 and 13 already. Double double. And on the uh, OKC side, Paul George and Westbrook both have 22 each. Nice tricolor, Luka Doncic. We'll save all of those. There's James Harden and Wally Zerbeck. You guys remember Wally Zerbeck? That goes to Jeremy Tillman and the T Wolves. One ten out of one ninety nine. Polyrhythmic, what's going on? He's saying Michael Jordan ninety seven ninety eight precious metal gems red fifty five out of one hundred BGS nines on eBay right now for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Hmm. It seems that does seem a little high, doesn't it? No. Out of 149, Jared Allen. Wow, Greens just sold for 350, 350,000. It's crazy. There's LeBron. There's Rudy Gobert. 249. And there's Gerald Green. Not this green is not selling for three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Sorry, Gerald. <laughs> Rudy Gobert two forty nine.
Any other guesses on that redemption? That could be a Liller auto. Is he a redemption? I don't know if he's a redemption or not. Get get Zach Collins into the game. Come on. And we were just talking about him. His ears are burning. Mo Wagner. I'd like to see him do well. He's going to get some minutes now. A lot of Laker, Laker youngsters are injured. Mo Wagner, get out there. Get some minutes. I would actually like to... I, I saw him in the, uh, the tournament last year. About the only time I watch college basketball. Seemed to be pretty good. It's kind of the same shot right here. Sort of. If you looked at this quickly, you'll be... Zomari Spellman. Gold! 1 out of 10. LeBron auto says... Uh, LeBron is exclusive to upper deck, so I'd be... Panini would definitely have some splaining to do if LeBron autos ended up in here. That, that, that would cause some drama in the industry. Um, could be a Damian Lillard for John Samuelson. Scott's looking for Lonnie Walker. MH saying Saquon Bar Charles Barkley. Well, it's going to be... Bam! Jacob Evans III instead. That's a warrior, I believe. Rookie jersey. That's Jacob Evans. Mark Masson with the Warriors. Jacob Evans has time. Jacob Evans has time to sign cards. I can assure you that. He's not that busy. Come on, Jacob. All right, next box. Rory looking for that Jaron Jackson Jr. He got the he got the Grizzlies in a spot random. Vinny saying A, S. Whoa, Vinny, this is a family show. Oh, SGA, I see. Shea Gilgis Alexander is what Vinny wants. Yeah, I have financial interest. I took a position on the Portland Trailblazers, EJC. I took the uh, Bucks early on, minus 10. They comfortably covered. And uh, I took the Trailblazers on the money line. They, what did I get them at? Minus 150. Y minus 160. So I've take, taken uh, a position on the success of the Portland Trailblazers in this, in this contest. Just like the stock market, their stock ticker, P-O-R, Portland. <laughs> That's the stock ticker. We got Jason Tatum, X Factor, 81 out of 99 for the Celtics. A little oppo Joe Mojo for Derwin. I do enjoy it, EJ. People who like group breaks tend to tend to uh, enjoy a bit of that as well. I think there's definitely some crossover. There's Kevin Knox. Knox in the box to 299. There's Luka Doncic and Dante DiVincenzo to 249. Robin Lopez. DiVincenzo going to the Bucks. That'll be for Brandon. We got randomized the Bucks. Crazy for sports card. Elvis, what's going on? Ooh. Maybe a little Laker Joe Mojo for you? I wouldn't mind. Still got a lot of boxes to go. TJ Warren die cut to 175. 
Mobamba Silver. Was that DiVincenzo jersey number? Boom! Is it really? Oh, look at this. Woo. Boom! Dante DiVincenzo, nine. We never hit the jersey now. I never pay attention to that. What is that, Rory? About a million dollars now for that card? It was only a thousand. It's probably a two thousand dollar card now. In all seriousness, though, those jersey numbers actually do matter. Secondary market. Like the one out of whatever and the last number out of whatever. Um, you know, th th those like eBay one of ones, they don't, they don't really matter. But the jersey numbers actually do. There's Todd Gibson jersey, uh, jersey, but not jersey number. Game war material, throwback memorabilia. But yeah, in a in a sec in the secondary market, yeah, in all seriousness, those, those jersey numbers actually do matter. People actually do seek those out. It is cool. I would too. I, I would put like all, if all things being equal, I probably want to go with the one with the jersey number. Lime green Lulu. We are on a Luka Doncic hot streak. Two cases, two Lulus. And that is for Jake Ledford. 46 out of 99. Lime green Lulu. You put the lime in the coconut. Nice. That is a strong hit. There's Damian Lillard. Lime green to 75. That is for John Samuelson. There's Kyrie and Harrison Barnes. How much how much does that go how much does that go for, Rory? What do you think? Yeah, I wish it was 77 out of 99, Vinny. Alas, no. We are we are we are many many spots off the jersey number. We're 31 spots off the jersey number. Now, more than that, EJC, I think those base autos that base version of Luka Doncic that we pulled in the previous case probably goes for three to five hundred bucks. Lime green probably six to seven hundred bucks. Rory's guessing. Yeah. Atomic card guy saying a small country. Yeah, Liechtenstein maybe. Right. A small European country. Luxembourg perhaps. Yeah, probably worth that. Maybe, uh, oh, the 76 out of 99 was sold on eBay, 800. Nice, right, and EJC's right. If you grade that and it grades out well, over 1,000. Andy's saying one sold on the six for 600. There you go, so what? Six to, six, uh, six to 800 dollars? Miles Bridges to two ninety nine. Hamadou Diallo out of one four. A great dunk contest for him. Josh Kogie. Draymond. And Bradley Beal. X Factor. Been playing some good ball in spite of not having. Having some teammates traded and John Wall being out for the season. Ian with the Wizards. You're a wizard, Ian. Rick Barker, this is your new handle. Okay. Don't be offended if I forget if I totally forget. It's hard enough to remember Rick Barker as Rick Barker. 
let alone trying to remember different names. You know how my short-term memory is. 245 out of 249. DeMar DeRozan die cut. Yusuf Nurkic, select swatches. Trailblazers, John Samuelson with the Blazers, blazing. Oh, John Samuelson, I'm right here. There's, for the Cincinnati Royals, Oscar Robertson. What did the Cincinnati Royals turn into? The can't no. They turn into anything? No, they did turn into the Kings. All right, so there you go. It goes to the Kings. Just like, just like, uh, just like, uh, Oilers to Titans. 31 out of 35. Sacktown. Cameron Sillings with the Kings. Rory's trying the old Royals, the Cincinnati Royals turn into the Memphis Grizzlies. The old ABA Cincinnati Royals turn into the Vancouver Grizzlies who turn into the Memphis Grizzlies. Quite a history, long history for those Grizz. You know what? I didn't. Uh, the new Bears kicker, it was Blewett, I think. Isn't there a, isn't there a, uh, I think there's a, you must have been on the Dodgers for a little bit. I think there was a Dodgers relief pitcher called, named Scott Blewett. I wonder if they're, I wonder if they're related. Yeah, Jason Bell, his last name is not Double Doink. All right, next box. We're about halfway through. Uh, you know what, EJC? I, I, I get that question a lot. I don't really collect anymore. I think mostly because... Um, well, mostly because I get to kind of see this stuff every day. So that kind of scratches that itch. If, I, if this wasn't my job, I'm sure I'd be... I'm sure I'd be watching group breaks and joining group breaks all the time. Just like everybody else, you know? But... No, I that that itch gets scratched. Yeah, an EJC. I saw your comment earlier about finding value cards on eBay or finding cards that are a little undervalued on eBay and grading them. Yeah, people do that all the time. It's a, it's a great way, you know, if you want to, if you spend the time to, to look for those cards, yeah, that, that definitely can be some profit there. Find some nice looking looking cards and then grade them and then flip them back again. It's a good sideline. You think, you think Zion will blow away Luka Doncic? We'll see. I think the thing with Luka Doncic was that he delivered, it, it wasn't really hype. I mean, there was hype, but he pretty much immediately delivered and in a big way, in a way that kind of got people hyped up, you know? If Zion can do that, then yeah. I mean, I think we might see... There's Giannis at a 75. So I don't know. We'll see. There's Evan Fournier, throwback memorabilia for the Nuggets. That's going to go to D-Mac. 
But I mean, Zion Will Williamson is kind of like, uh, what would you compare him to? What kind of player? I think someone said he, we had a good comparison. I was talking, whoa. In-flight signatures, Giannis Antetokounmpo. That goes to Brandon Luger, who got randomized the Milwaukee Bucks in the spot random and lands this lime green auto. Well, it kind of matches with the Bucks colors really nicely. Nine out of 35. Rory would love to buy this from you, Brandon. Please give him a good price on that. There's Monty Moore. Rory's crying in the chat right now. He's like, no. There's Jimmy Butler to 99. Select swatches. I don't know. Rory's the Bucks fan. He would probably know how much that would go for. 36 out of 99 on that one. Sixers, that's Alex Carmichael. I, don't know, I might have to, Vinny. I don't know, we're, we're still got, I'm not even halfway through the break yet. 48 out of 99, Sweet Lou Williams. Still have six boxes to go. Got plenty of time. Forty-eight out of ninety-nine. Ryan Sullivan needs some sons here, preferably a DeAndre Ayton. Uh, going back to uh, Williamson really quick, I think we were saying he had like the ferociousness of uh, the ferociousness of Larry Johnson, but with like the the shot of someone I don't know. There was a there was a good comparison. For the record, in spite of what Rory may think, I do not hate Rory. Six boxes to prove him wrong. Uh oh, OKC's okay, so up 84-87 on Portland, but there's still eight minutes, eight and a half minutes left. Come on, Trailblazers. Um, EJC, I, I, the value of that Giannis, it's not sure. It's not, not his rookie year. Obviously, his rookie stuff is going to be, you know, a ton more than standard on-card auto, but it is nice. He is having a great – he could be on, a, on an MVP streak, but it probably won't go for as much as it should. Jersey and autograph, Josh Okoge. I don't know. Someone look it up. There's probably, there's probably some on, on the bay already. Look at sold auctions. There's Josh Okogie, Jersey and Auto to 199. That goes to the T Wolves, Jeremy Tillman. Miles Bridges to 299. Yeah, Rory's thinking in the 100 or so. Yeah, sounds about right. Die cut, almost missed that. To 65, orange die cut. And. Luka Doncic. There you go, CJ McCollum. Concourse level. Two out of sixty-five. Yeah, I know, right, Matt? They're wrong. They're running out of time. Don't say I didn't warn everybody. X Factor, Aaron Gordon. Nine out of 49. You would think that there would be a Hall of Fame boost in value, but probably only for like rookie cards and not necessarily, you know, the other stuff. 
it will, you might get a little bit of a boost, but by the time, you know, Giannis gets into the Hall of Fame, right? By the time he gets into the Hall of Fame, how many times, how many autographs of his are out there? A lot. You know, there'll be a lot out there. But that's why his, well, I mean, that's why all the, all, for all these sets, that's why all the rookie stuff are so valuable. You know, if Luka Doncic ends up being a Hall of Famer and you've got those Luka Doncic's from select basketball with Joe way back in the day, you know, 15 years down the line or whatever. You know, then you're like, boy, I'm glad I held on to that. There's Kevin Knox. Knox in the box. And that is for Yonar with the Knicks. Van Vliet to 199. All right, next one. Come on, Rory. Rory's like, I'll get into the next spot, random, and watch. I'll get a. Oh, you'll get in the next spot if I hit you a Jaron Jackson Jr. auto. Oh, I thought you were saying you'll get into the next spot, random, get the Grizz, or not get the Grizz, and then they'll hit. That'll probably happen too. You can't let you can't let Schroeder shoot over you like that. Uh, that's probably true, Rex. Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure cards that that I have pulled after I go, after I shed this mortal coil, it probably will be more valuable. You gotta, you gotta play defense, though. Trailblazers. Nice. There you go. Yeah, that shot by Damon Lillard. Turns out that guy's pretty good. John Samuelson, well, you don't want to think about me passing the game. It's going to happen someday, John Samuelson. It's going to, it's going to happen. My soul is prepared, Dr. Jones. How about yours? 160 out of 175. Remember that? Minnie Ann Jones, Last Crusade. Out of 175, Stephen Adams die cut. There's Jerome Robinson, Jersey and Otto for the Clip Show. Vinny with the Clippers. Thirty-one out of forty-nine. Ooh, Lush McBarrows at Sotheby's. I'll take that. Vanilla Gorilla saying, "There's Kevin Love, by the way." Um, since I'm trying my first basketball break, you think everyone will agree to let me just have Dallas? No. I don't think they will. N not a chance. <laughs> There's Tristan Thompson, the Cavs, 299. Uh, Silver Colin Sexton, we'll save one of those. Chris Weber, nice. There's Joe Harris. Select swatches for the Nets. <laughs> Thanks, Vinny. Yeah, hopefully there'll be some more. He's still got plenty of boxes left. SGA, maybe. Oh yeah, John Samson really beat up about Luke Perry's death. Do you need to maybe speak to somebody about that? Some grief counseling? Hey! SGA, Draft Selections Relic. Tie-dye as well, 10 out of 25, nice. 
Love those tie dyes. Just one off his draft position. Dang it. Of course. There's Westbrook out of 149, white prism. I feel like that DiVincenzo is followed by a Doncic. Not all the time, I guess. All right, four boxes to go. Almost jersey number on that West Gregory. There was a zero in front of there. All right, four boxes to go. I did hear that. Someone else mentioned that earlier today, too. Vince Carter sticking around for another year. Probably getting more cyborg parts in the offseason. We all know that he's a cyborg, right? You know, that's going to be a philosophical issue in the future before you know it. How many cyborg parts would you allow in a human before you won't let them play professional sports with other humans? Is there going to be, listen, you know, whether you like it or not, guess what? Racism is going to be gone. You know, there's going to be, there's going to be gay marriage everywhere. All that sort of stuff. What are we going to discriminate against in the future? We got to do something, right? We're going to discriminate against cyborgs. That's what's going to happen. So what do you do when Vince Carter has a bionic leg and it hit, all of his ligaments are replaced with robot parts, and Vince Carter is still balling out? Do we allow that? You know, you can, we'll try to, the humans, the meat bags here, we'll try to oppress cyborgs. We're like, uh-uh, why, why are you paying a cyborg more to do what a human could do? You know, all that's going to happen, folks. And then we're gonna, cyborgs, what do we do? What do we do to the cyborgs? Do we let them play? What if James Harden says, yeah. Uh, you know, I got, I got a replacement cyborg shoulder. You let him play? Are there rules against that? If Clayton Kershaw gets a new lower back, <laughs> can he, can he, can he still play? What are the rules for that? There's another Luka Doncic. There's got to be rules in place for that. There's Vince Carter right here. There's Wendell Carter Jr. Mr. Wendell. That goes to Peter Eng, who got randomized the Bulls in that spot random. There you go. Autograph for you. Out of 199. Yeah, we're, there's already LASIK eye surgery for baseball players. What next? Replacement eyeballs? Just clone Ted Williams' eyes? What next, you guys? When will it stop? Is Johnny L actually has a legitimate question. Is Vince Carter a Hall of Famer? Is Vince Carter a Hall of Famer? There you go, Passion for Cards. You're right. Anything that's good for the hobby. So, hey, if Christoph Porzingis wants to get cyborg knees and he gets to play 40 minutes a night every night because of that, including back-to-back, -back, sure. There's DeAndre Jordan for the Mavs to 149. It's going to be a philosophical question that we're going to have to deal with at some point, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 
Atomic says, absolutely. There's Nicola Batum. Trailblazers edition. Five out of 99. Sorry, John Tamlinson. That goes to the Trailblazers. I don't think he likes to be reminded about this. Or maybe it was some other player. There's Luka Doncic. That's, that's cool. That purple foil in the background, that purple parallel. 97 out of 99. So Atomic says, Vinsanity, absolutely, Hall of Famer. John Hyanka says, if Yao can get in, Carter's in. Scott says, Vinsanity, 100%, no questions, Hall of Fame. That's for the Dallas Mavericks, Jake Ledford. Nice break for you. And J.J. Redick to 99. And Luka Doncic, premier level Luka Doncic. David Marsh says, I just want the Knicks to be on top someday. <laughs> yeah, this is a family. Easy. Oh, top of the standings. I don't know. You have to get rid of... Uh, when, as soon as New York fans get sick of uh, the Dolan, then yeah, I think I think then they'll be able to to, to get back to some, some level of success. Rex is saying the real question is what if they clone dead people? Or if aliens come down, can they play? That would be that would be Rex's dream. Just to recreate like nineties teams. And just Rex, you should move to Portland. It's basically the nineteen nineties there. Like now. Everyone's seen Portlandia, right? And that's what, that's what it is. Wow. Damon and Lillard is insane. What a shot. 105-102. Dane has 41 points. He's 13 for 21 from the field. 3 for 7 from 3. Pretty efficient, too. No, I'm serious. Go to Portland, Rex. Right? We save some Landry Shamets for the Sixers. Jalen Brown at a 175. Oh, this game's not going to go to overtime, is it? Yeah, you can hang out with John Samuelson, Rex. John, tell him. It's like the 90s out there. It's like Portlandia. I need a visit. Jalen Brown. And Kevin McHale. This SOB. But... I'm glad that Derwin gets a nice hit. Patch Auto, Kevin McHale, tie dye, 12 out of 25. There's Damian Lillard. Let's go, Dame. Out of 249. Game's tied at 105 to 105. 320 left. Paul George shooting free throws. He's pretty good at free throws. Sinks the first one. That's true. Aliens already have played. All right. The the Monstars. Oh, can't wait for a Le LeBron. LeBron ruining the Lakers. LeBron ruining Space Jam. There's Marcus Smart to 199. And Danilo Gallinari. X-Factor. Clippers jersey. Going to Vinny.
get there, get there. Oof. That was that was not the best shot selection, Dame Lillard. Oh, turnover. Ah, oh. nice, but Ryan, I thought it was going to be some ink on there too. I thought it was going to be an RPA, but just a DeAndre Aiden relic. There you go, not numbered. There's Paul George right there. It's two ninety nine. Shoot it. Oh. Uh. How do you stop Steven Adams? Well, Ryan, I'll still believe until the very last card is shown on camera. Offensive foul. What a shot. Oh yeah, we haven't seen the Zeeb yet. Chris Paul is 75. And 35 out of 199, Mo Wagner. Oh, come on, Mo. You got to work on that autograph, buddy. Jersey and auto for my Lakers. Elvis with the Lakers. It's the Jersey auto, Mo Wagner. He'll learn. Zaire Smith to 299. Phenom, Silver, Luka Doncic, and Derrick Rose. X Factor Derrick Rose, Timberwolves, Jeremy Tillman. There's Damian Lillard, makes the second of his two free throws to tie the game at 111 apiece. 40 seconds left, 42 seconds left, 19 on the shot clock. Westbrook with the ball. There's 8 out of 10. Elia Kobu. It's nice. Goal. Oh, you got to get that rebound. Come 
come on. You gotta get that second rebound. <laughs> 8 out of 10. Gold. It's for Ryan Sullivan. Marvin Bagley die cut to 249. And the last box coming up. Good luck, everybody. Three autographs or memorabilia cards coming up. We have not seen the zebra yet. They're not guaranteed one per case, though. Good luck. The Lillard Auto has not been pulled yet, John Samuelson, who has a Trailblazers in this one. Good luck. We've got Bryant Reeves. It's a big dude. For the Grizz. Goes to Rory. There you go, Rory. Not not quite the Jaron Jackson Jr. you're looking for, but but an autograph nonetheless. For Rory who got the Grizz in a spot random. There's SGA out of 249 die cut. Thank you, Johnson. Yeah, it, listen, it's not it's not easy to hit in these breaks. No breaks are easy to hit. A 249 SGA for Vinny. But they do look cool. It's well worth the chase, I think. I think I even I think I tend to like uh I tend to like select more than um, it's Colin Sexton Red, more than Prism, I think. That's not gold, Andy? Ooh. Getting a little chippy in this game. Wendell Carter Jr., Jersey. Let's see what else. Is this it? I think we should have one more hit. That's Carl Anthony Towns to 99. It's for the Timberwolves, Jeremy Tillman. Thirty-seven out of ninety-nine. And we've got Harry Giles out of twenty-five. Nice tie-dye. And Josh Jackson, Relic, is your last hit. And that'll go to Ryan Sullivan. Uh, Red Sexton, Scott was 57 out of 199. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 
Pick your team number four in the books. Really appreciate everybody getting in and getting into the action. Got more in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.